Larry Strong. Lord Larry Strong, called the clubfoot due to his pronounced birth defect, is the Lord of Harenhal and head of House Strong. He is the second son of Lord Lionel Strong, and the younger brother of Ser Harwin Strong. Late in the reign of King Viserys Sy Targaryen, he rose to the position of Lord Confessor. Laris was born with a severe clubfoot, a birth defect causing his right foot to be badly curved inward and downward. He walks with a cane inset with a golden firefly. House of the Dragon, Season 1 Laris, along with his father and brother, joins King Viserys' hunting party on Prince Aegon's second name day. Being unable to participate in the hunt due to his foot, he sits with Queen Alicent and the other noble ladies in the royal tent, quietly listening in on their conversation. In the God's Wood of the Red Keep, Laris informs Alicent of Grand Maester Melas's delivery of Moon Tea to Renera, and offers to be her ally at court. This leads to Alicent and Renera's relationship to further estrangement. Ten years later, Alicent and Laris have become full confidants in one another. Alicent informs Laris of his father's attempted resignation as Hand of the King, and expresses her regret over her own father's dismissal. Laris subsequently gathers prisoners from the black cells has their tongues cut out, using them to set a fire at Harenhal in which both his father and brother are killed. He later informs Alicent of this, clearing a path for Otto Hightower to return as Hand, though Alicent is disturbed by Laris's actions. Laris attends the funeral of Lena Valerion at High Tide, where Kristen Cole mentions to Alicent that Laris has been staring at her unabashedly. Alicent replies that it is only a look of pride as Laris is the new lord of Harenhal. After the incident between Prince Lucerys and Prince Emond which saw the latter lose an eye, Laris approaches her on their ship back to King's Landing, offering to take Lucerys' eye to balance the scales. Alicent refuses his offer, but says that his devotion has not gone unnoticed and that the day will come when she will require such a friend. Six years later, Laris is the Lord Confessor in the Red Keep. During the coup in King's Landing, the Clubfoot observes the prisoners escorted to the dungeons for their knowledge of the King's death and an audience in the Great Hall in which Otto had the Lords of the Realm bend the knee and swear fealty to Aegon II. Laris then tips the guards to arrest Lord Alan Caswell, who had been trying to escape the Red Keep to inform Renner of the coup. After Caswell has his execution ordered by Otto Hightower, Otto congratulates Laris and mentions that Laris had been spending many hours with the Queen lately. Laris replies that there is no reason those hours could not in the end benefit Otto. At night, Alicent exits her meeting with Otto and shows discomfort to find Laris waiting for her in her chambers. Laris offers her information on Miseria's network of spies in the Red Keep, which includes Alicent's lady-in-waiting Talia, and its usage by Otto Hightower, offering to kill Miseria to destroy his advantage. In exchange, Laris quietly demands sexual favors through Alicent showing Laris her feet, to which he pleasures himself as Alicent looks away. Later, one of Laris's convicts sets fire to Miseria's safe house. Personality Laris is cunning and remorseless, and an unapologetic kinslayer. He has a sexual attraction to feet. In the books, in Fire and Blood, Laris Strong was known as Laris the Clubfoot, and rarely spoke, preferring instead to listen. On the occasion that he did speak, it was either to be glib or share very important information. Laris was the son of Lord Lionel Strong, who served on the small council of Viserys I Targaryen and brought Laris and his brother Harwin to court. While Harwin is made commander of the City Watch, Laris is made one of the king's confessors. The fact that Laris orchestrated the fire at Harenhal is never revealed in the books. Instead, he is merely one of several suspects, a list that also includes Prince Daemon, Corlys Valerion, and King Viserys himself. There is no mention in the book that Laris was a potophile. If you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later, bye bye.